Hello everyone, welcome back to Pookie Codes and today we'll be looking at part 2 of Deep Learning with Keras and Python. Today, we're going to look at one hot encoding our labels and why is it useful. Alright, so hello guys. We're going to start implementing one hot encoding right now. So, what is one hot encoding in the first place? One hot encoding is basically that you take a series of labels and then you output it in the format of a probability distribution. So, what does that mean? So, as you can see here, I have the labels 4, 5, 3, and 1. So that our machine, so that our deep learning model, the neural network, can understand it better, it's much more better to use a probability distribution than to use discrete numbers such as four, five, three, one. So, how is it work? How does it work? So we see that for a label of four, we are going to assign it uh, a certain index in the one hot encoding. So this is for the digit zero. This is for the digit one. This is for the digit 2, this is for the digit 3, and this is for the digit 4. And what this array means is that we want the model to output a probability distribution that looks like 0 for all the digits except for 4. And for the digit 4, we want it to have a confidence, a, a probability of 1. So if I look at the number 5, now we'll see that it's the zero digit, one digit, two digit, three digit, four digit, and the fifth digit is one also. So this means that we want the model to output a, to, we want the model to be certain that it's a number five. And we want it to say that it's zero for all the other digits. So how do we implement it? The code is already made here if you want to look at it and then leave, but that's okay. We're going to implement it from scratch. So, how do we do one hot encoding? We're just going to create our function one right now. And it's going to accept y's. And it's going to accept the number of classes. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to create my, 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 my array to store these one hot encodings. So I'm going to say ohs equal np dot zeros. And I'm going to say I'm going to say that it is actually um, of size number of labels I have over the number of classes I have. So mp.zeros y.shape0 and num classes. Now we're going to iterate over the labels and we get for i, y's, and enumerate y's. This is actually y instead. And I'm going to say y's. I'm going to say ohs at index i at the index y is equal to 1. And I'm going to return ohs. So how, why does that work? So first, when I receive this label, I'm basically just creating this, but with no zeros, with, with only zeros. So this is going to be a zero. This is also going to be a zero, this two, and this two. And then when I'm go, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to iterate over each label. So four, five, three, then one. So here I have index of zero and label of 4. So I'm going to go to the index 4, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to switch it to a 1, and we see that we get the correct probability distribution. For 5, it's the same thing, switch it to 1 here, and for 3, same thing, switch it to 1, and for number 1, we switch it here to 1. So to verify it works, we can just use this code, open ipython, import numpy as np, copy paste that code, create our test label, so y's test equal mp.array 4, 2, 3, 1. I'm going to say num classes equal to 10, and I'm going to say one hots, 
wise test num classes. And you see that I get the correct answer. So I have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is at the fifth index for the digit 4. This is at the right position. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 0, 1, 1. So everything's working fine. And now we just need to apply it to our Y's. So for the low data, I'm going to add, it's actually not Y train, it's raw Y train and raw Y test. And we are going to say y train is equal to one hot y raw y train with a num classes that I'm going to put as a constant. So num classes equal to 10. I'm also going to say y test is equal to one hot raw y test num classes. And I'm going to return it. So I'm now finally going to respect the format that MNIST has. So the pairs of X train, so Y train, then the pairs of X test and Y test. And so now I have to change it here. And it's actually going to be X train, Y train, X test, Y test equal load data and as always we can test if it works by doing ipython-i main.py and for example i can say look at these images that we've shown last time I can stop it and i can say y train zero and i see it's one hot encoded what's y test zero Correct. What's X train zero? Looks fine to me. That's an image. And what's X test zero? Looks also fine to me. And so we are done for all the pre-processing. We don't need to do any more pre-processing. And now we're going to start with the real fun and we're going to create our model in the next video. So if you like this content, subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon. Yeah. And Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.